dyeing process completed, the beams are ready for weaving. And here there's a choice between two weaving looms, the projectile and the shuttle loom. Although shuttle looms produce no more than four meters an hour, these looms still enjoy great popularity. Because of their personality and selvage, the real denim connoisseur is willing to pay a higher price for this product. These are basically looms with the same technologies of the looms that my grandfather had in the 70s and my father had. And um, we uh, decided to go back to, to the shuttle looms uh, because there is some demand on the market to have uh, the uh, original denim like the denim which was made in the 60s, in the 70s, with a selvage which is perfectly closed. When weaving denim, a distinction is made between the dyed blue threads called the warp, the vertical weaving threads, and the undyed white threads, the weft, the horizontal threads. The shuttle loom feeds the white thread through the blue thread at high speed and then back again, skipping three blue threads at a time. This is called three by one. The result is called a closed edge or selvage. When denim gained popularity in the United States in the late 19th century, one braid or weaving pattern was used. The twill line originally ran from left to right in the denim and was known as the right hand twill or RHT, the pattern used by Levi Strauss. To set itself apart, Lee, who went into production later, decided to weave in the opposite direction, from right to left. This was called the left-hand twill, or LHT. The third big player on the jeans market at that time, Wrangler, realized that there were no other options left. So they introduced the BT, a pattern that had no specific direction, thus creating the broken twill. The most common weave used for denim these days is the right-hand twill. Most denim at this mill is woven with right-hand twill. In addition to the right-hand, left-hand and broken twills, the jeans industry explosion has resulted in other patterns being developed in response to changing trends. The denim industry uses a whole host of other patterns, such as herringbone or cavalry twill. Not only is denim woven in a variety of patterns, it also comes in different weights, commonly expressed in ounces per square yard, where one ounce per square yard is equivalent to almost three grams per 0.9144 square meters. There are light and heavyweight denims, with weights ranging between two and a half ounces to over 20 ounces per square yard. The most common weights are between seven and a half and 15 ounces. Another type of loom used in this factory is the projectile loom. It propels the weft through the warp at extremely high speed. This machine turns at no less than 300 to 450 revs per minute. This method produces an open edge to the fabric. The projectile loom is the most common loom used and produces a wide denim cloth of approximately 148 centimeters or 58 inches. As the looms are fully automatic, they tend to make the denim look too perfect. However, a slight adjustment to the loom results in a less even weave, which adds more character to the denim. In terms of speed, projectile looms are way out in front. They produce an average of 20 meters of full width denim an hour, or no less than 30 million meters a year. That's enough to wrap the earth in denim about 750 times, should you want to.